the way that we make things needs to evolve. We're not only investigating what products will look like in the future, but also what production looks like. So ATAP is Advanced Technology and Projects. It's a group within Google that focuses on R&D and finding next generation products. The inside of ATAP is it's actually pretty unique. We have all the different additive manufacturing technologies, all the different subtractive technologies, CNC machining, we have molding machines, robot arms. We pretty much have everything that you might need to build something. As leaders within a product development space, we are running into really complex assemblies with like multiple overmolded parts. In this case, we had geometry that was closely around your arm, around your wrist area here, and needed to conform to that shape and be strong and be waterproof and give user notification. It had to do all of these things, so it required some pretty unique manufacturing processes. We had electronics that were overmolded, then that overmolded again. You might shoot hundreds and hundreds, thousands of shots to dial this in. The light went off when I was watching dollars and weeks of time going in the garbage. That's when we got on the whiteboard and started brainstorming how might this work. What sort of process, what sort of material could replace a PCB? We had to use a material that withstand thousands of pounds of pressure, north of 250 C. Pretty much knocked everything out down to the high temperature resin on the Form 2. Kicked off a print on Friday afternoon, came back on Monday, saw the parts, they worked. We ran, I think, 200 parts. The fact that we were able to shut the tool off on 3D printed material, hit it with that high pressure injection, and not even have it flash, they held up to the process. There's still so many boundaries to the way that parts are designed, and it does force you to think about fabrication of tools in another way. We successfully bridged and merged the prototype additive manufacturing with real life production. Clearly it saved a bunch of time and money, it helped solve some problems. It's a big deal for the team and for the program. It was, it was a big win for sure.